<coughs> obviously, as far as the G case is concerned, uh, lots of lots of developments uh, still ongoing. But what to you and to the JFC would be indicators that uh, credible things are happening as far as investigating this case is concerned? Well, I think that the, the fact that the president uh, took action um, on the police force vis-a-vis -vis the, uh, the PMP was a very definite and, and, and positive reaction to the situation that exists. I'm a little bit concerned that the headline in the star which stated that uh, foreign businessmen fear their safety mm -hmm. is a bit too general and, and maybe a little bit overstates the actual case. Mm -hmm. Um, but I mean, let's, let's go back to the same. It did say that unless this is handled credibly, um, that, that I, if I remember it right, the, the security, the safety would be put in question. That's right, which is slightly different. Um, I can say that as president of the Canadian Chamber of Commerce, I have not heard one single member come to me and say they fear for their safety. I, I think the reality of the situation is that when we work in many countries, there is an element of risk. Mm -hmm. There's an element of risk of criminality, there's an element of risk of rogue policemen and this, that and the other. And the important thing is to avoid, uh, we have a horrific case here mm -hmm. and I must say we sympathize with the, the Korean the community. community on this. We've had similar cases for the Canadian community and for many other members of the JFC. But I think what we have to do is stand back and say, okay, what is the risk of this to foreign businessmen, and is it discouraging foreign business? Mm -hmm. uh, and that's an actually slightly different question. Okay. Um, I think those of us who are here realize there are risks, as there are in any country, mm -hmm. um, and we take care to, to minimize those risks. Mm -hmm. I think the bigger downfall or the downside of this particular event is what it presents internationally to the Philippines for people who as do far not as know the, the situation. Of the yes. Philippines is concerned. Because I'm sure it'll be that headline rather than the uh, actual statement mm -hmm. that is going to be uh, repeated. Okay. And that what worries me a little bit. Okay. So, I mean, let me clarify that. Is it a concern over, um, I mean, okay, it does, you're, what you're saying is it does not mean that we are afraid about our, our investments here. It is not scaring away investors. Uh, but, but, the circumstance of releasing a statement, I mean, there must have been a perception that this is something out of the ordinary. There is a certain urgency, would you say, to having the JFC release a statement? It is rather rare for the JFC. Uh, the JFC issues lots of statements, I may say. Um, I think the interesting one in this case was that, of course, it was done from somebody who is in police custody, yes. in effect. Uh, we had a similar case for a mayor of the Filipinos, so this is not just a case Okay. of actions against foreigners. Okay. And that's what's important, I think, to notice. Okay. I think the bigger picture for business is, uh, does the Philippine maintain a situation of uh, peace, and, uh, peace and order, order, good order, and good government? Okay. And the Duterte administration has made it clear that it wishes. Okay. And, and that is a positive. Yes. The problem is that then you have negative incidents. Yes. And these get exaggerated and these are sometimes focused on to a greater extent. Was there sa anything in the message about the method of the government? I mean, is, there, is, there a, is this a statement that we can read into about concerns about the, the way the drug war is being conducted? The statement did not refer to the drug war at all. Mm -hmm. It referred to the responsibility of a government to, to try and maintain safety of both foreigners and local people. Okay. And I think it was inspired, in fact, by the fact that this particular incident took case, place in police custody. It didn't make any reference, and nor I believe was intended to make any reference okay. to the issue of the drug war. Okay. So, okay, now, uh, what else would you like to see now moving forward as far as the case is concerned, as far as, far as uh, government responding to the message and receiving the message of the JFC? I, I think from my point of view as president of the Canadian Chamber of Commerce, we're very pleased with the fact that the administration did take quick action uh, on actually uh, addressing the situation in PNP. Now we have to see the results. Mm -hmm. You could launch action, we wait to see the results. I don't think actually we can ask for any more immediate than that. It will take a little bit of time. 
Mr. Julian Payne of the Canadian Chamber of Commerce, thank you. Thank you very much. My pleasure to be here on your program. Thank you. Salam alaikum.